Good morning Mike, it's Friday and I'm here to talk to you about this bookcase which I bought for my children just after Christmas for them to keep their books on and their dinosaurs. Say hi T-Rex. Hello. And hi everyone else. Hello. 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 This bookcase was quite cheap but it does do its job quite well so when Argos emailed me and said would you like to put a review on our website I thought you know what I will take 10 minutes of my time to leave a review for you. I'm going to read for you now what I wrote to Argos. For under £25 I was not expecting anything special from this bookcase. I just needed something quick and cheap for the back cave and this did the job. It's not special but it's sturdy enough for holding a few books and somewhere to leave my utility belt. I'm always losing them. Assembly is slightly less straightforward than IKEA flat pack but it's still pretty easy. Package was quite small which is a good thing as there's not much boot space in the Batmobile. Now I was appalled yesterday to receive an email from Argos. They said, hello Batman, thank you for taking the time to write a review, blah blah. Unfortunately we could not publish your review as it did not meet our guidelines. They go on to say, we encourage you to resubmit your review, keeping it informative, product specific and not including personal information prices, delivery, offers or links which are subject to change, mentions of other companies or website, other inappropriate or unhelpful content. My review deliberately does not include any personal information. I use the pseudonym Batman as I'm sure you've gathered by now and I included a few things just to ensure that people believed that I was Batman. I don't think I included anything inappropriate or unhelpful so I take it the reason Argos rejected my review was because I mentioned IKEA. Now as you heard as I was reading this Argos have invited me to submit another review and now I would like to exploit their strange fear of Swedish furniture. Well let's leave them another review anyway. Overall rating, well I gave them 4 out of 5 last time. This time I'm going to give them 3 out of 5 just because I'm annoyed. Would you recommend this product? Yes. Review title. Hmm. It's not Swedish, but it's okay. <laughs> Review example. Oh, this product has great features. Features. This product has great features, the top shelf is really useful, and there are three other underneath. I would normally buy flat pack furniture from that place that rhymes with idea, but I needed this bookcase quickly and decided to settle with the Argos bookshelf. It does the job and it looks okay, but I think the Swedes have the edge on quality. Yes, I recommend this product, and I'm, I've included a picture as well for them, so hopefully they'll like that. Mike, I know you're moving house today, I hope it goes all right, and I will see you hopefully on Tuesday.